This part of the session will talk about the base, basic light setup in uh, iRay. So we can continue with our car in the next session. So uh, we, we will not be looking on this car session today. So in this session we'll be looking on, on a basic scene. This scene is provided by Jeff Patton and you can uh, download it from his site. Thank you for sharing this. So uh, what the scene is, this is as of now, uh, this scene carries a light, but it's a skylight, but it's switched off. So if you uh, take a render, it's, uh, it's blank, it's, there is nothing, uh, there is no light in the scene. Um, so with iRay you can render with uh, multiple options, one is uh, using a light card, so that is, you can use even photometric lights, but in this, I, I'll just unhide all, I have a hidden light card here. So it's a nothing but a plane with an uh, arc and design material having self illumination on. You can see that it's a self illumination on with a physical units of 120. So uh, we can see the render with the light on. And I prefer to switch on even the exposure control at this time. So I have already switched it on this mental ray exposure control. So we'll render this. We may have to tweak the exposure control a little. So uh, yeah, it's fine as of now. So you can see this this render just with one single light card. So uh, you can either use photometric lights, light cards, or HDRs to illuminate it. So you can see that you can control that uh, using on the light card. Consider if I wanted a little warm, so I may either use the Kelvin color and say that 4,500, or maybe l yeah, a little lesser. I think that's fine. So to get a little more warmer. results so you can control it uh, the same way like a uh, uh, light using the arc and design material self illumination properties so this is just with the light card the render is now we will uh, uh, see the renders with uh, uh, using an HDR so I'll just just see the render once and just taking a little time to I have set it to 800 passes so as we have uh, spoke about the rendering there is no much render settings here uh, I have only controlled here is the anti-aliasing I wanted a sharper one I changed to triangle and the number of iterations I even I can keep it to unlimited so whenever I feel uh, the things are coming out nice so I can stop the render I'll just reduce the size to 800 so we can get a faster render so I can this is an unlimited render so once I feel that any time uh, while the render is happening I can save the image without any problem the render won't stop so whenever I feel uh, the image is good enough there is no no noise I can I can save that image and there is no limit for the render so it's keep iterating and keep uh, reducing the noise that's what it is so you can see that here uh, as of now you can see a lot of noise mm, so that noise will be uh, re progressively reduce it each pass will reduce a certain amount of noise and it will be cleaner and cleaner and it always shows zero percentage as the render is unlimited and there is no progress bars working here. Okay, I'll cancel this render as of now. It's, it will take a little time to get a uh, cleaner version of it. So it's, the render is progressing. It's not like it stopped. It's keep progressing as even it's showing zero percentage. It's keep progressing. After a certain time, I will be getting a noise free render. So I'll just stop that and I'll hide the I'll hide the light card and hide selection and go to camera one and check whether is there anything. So obviously the scene will be uh, dark again. There won't be anything seen in the render. Mm, so what I need is I need an HDR to be placed here. So I'll uh, take my environment. As of now there is no environment map. So I'm gonna load an environment map. I'll take a bitmap and pick any one of these HDRs. So these are created in HDR Light Studio as we have talked in the first session. So I'll drag and drop it here. I need to change a little. So I have this HDR here. So what I do is one thing I'll make it as a spherical environment and second thing is as uh, we told in the last session that we need to adjust a little on the uh, I need to change the offset value to 0 0.05 to get the exact placement okay so I have the HDR now just have a render so 
So its illumination is a little darker. So this way I'll reduce the exposure control here and just say that 2. I think 2 would be correct for this. Uh, scene. Uh, I think uh, one more level down. 1. You can uh, even control with uh, photographic exposure if I can directly change my f-stop into uh, 5. Even that is fine. So we'll see the render. I think maybe a little brighter. I think it's all uh, perfect. So you can either use a light card, you can use a photometric light, or an environment map. I'll be using environment map uh, because as I wanted precise uh, reflections in particular area, so I'll be creating one uh, using uh, HDR Light Studio and bringing it here, and uh, and we'll be lighting uh, accordingly. So if you have find it's more control uh, you can find more control in 3ds max you may create hdrs in 3ds or you may use light cards or reflection uh, objects in 3ds max and create it i find it more easy to use uh, hdr light studio to do that you can do it either of way either using lights or sh shapes in 3ds max or using hdr light studio to create an hdr or you can use your own hdrs if you wanted uh, some uh, some hdrs that you have uh, shot you may use even that to illuminate the scene